and the county commissioners for the generous support. So now we are going to introduce our esteemed panel of celebrity judges. We've got a great panel this year. I want to welcome Crosswords, Ronald Hargrove. Her lifelong passions have intertwined to fill a void in the local dance community. 
I have a passion for dance my entire life. I first took ballet lessons by myself when I was 40. That didn't last long because I had no one to dance with. When I was 50, I convinced my husband at the time to take lessons. We quickly became addicted and were dancing three times a week. We even did some showcases. Fast forward to the next decade, and at 60, I became a certified ballroom professional instructor with Arthur Murray. I taught under a great mentor with a studio in Raleigh, North Carolina for a couple of years. My specialty is working with baby boomers, people with two left feet and little Here's the thing about taking lessons with me. <laughs> Although the dance is based on traditional ballroom approach, it's threefold. I'm a certified professional trainer, a certified life coach, and a ballroom instructor. Yes, she is a triple threat. I blend the mind and body together to teach you not just to dance. I help you learn or remember how to have fun. The other component is being able to dance anywhere with any Ballroom is a great foundation to be seen. Strongly believe our bodies are made to keep moving and our minds are meant to keep expansion. That's how you get to experience life to the fullest. Let's give Mary a round of applause. Let's give all of us a round of applause. Thank you, and that's a little bit about their life, and we're excited to have them here with us today. So let's get on with the show. We've got some great talent here today from the city of the county. Up first is Kaheem Snacks Ruffin. And he's a singer, and he's going to showcase What's Up by Four Non Blondes. Yeah. 
life is still just trying to get up that great big hill of hope for a destination. Thank you. 
Jonathan, excellent interpretation of a classic. We're in the classics today. This is a, um, uh, yeah, was, uh, I used to play the flute when I was about nine for about a week. <laughs> um, so, like, maybe next time you can, you know, uh, when the equipment's not around, you can throw in a backflip or a split or something like that. Other than that, it was great. <laughs> Jonathan, I love your music selection. It was great. It's one of my favorite songs. Um, I think that uh, your breath control was great. Um, I thought that um, I wish I could have gotten a little more stage presence. Um, if you look at some of the flowers now uh, that are on the professional flowers, check them out. And um, maybe you could pick up some pointers as far as playing to your audience. But other than that, I thought you were fantastic.
don't know why she picked me first. <laughs> well, listen, I love your um, your song selection. I think it fits your voice tremendously. Um, I like your movement on stage. I would have really liked it if you would have given more eye contact to the audience and move that move because that's one of those moving songs. Diaphragmatic breathing was fantastic. The endings of your um, your um, the endings of your words were right on. I mean, they were right on because a lot of times people run out of breath if they're not breathing and they get flat. You were totally on pitch the whole entire time. Um, the improvisation at the end, I like that. I would love for you to do a little bit more. Um, just let yourself go and just go for it. Because in improvisation is um, allowing yourself to just trust yourself and just go with it. I thought you were really great. Thank you so much for your talent. So, Melissa, I'm going to think this is not your first rodeo. That was awesome. One of my favorite songs to sing tonight was Wolf of Green. Song selection was incredible. Um, and I'm going to say you were about to sing this song. Good job. Yeah, Melissa! We're a whole state! We're a whole state! All right, up next we have Casey Balzer. She's a classical guitarist. Um, she is a budget analyst for the Forsyth County Budget and Management Department. She started playing piano when she was seven and has been performing music ever since. Her first professional performance was at Carnegie Hall in New York City in 2020. She loves playing guitar and the occasional video game and math. Today she's going to be performing Danza Brasileira. Wonderful, wonderful. Stick around for a few seconds and our judges will give you a little feedback. Um, let's start with uh, Ronald. 
chest voice and your lower voice. A lot of people don't realize how difficult that is in making the transitions. I would say work on by doing some sit-ups. Um, more when you start to go up to your head voice, you need more breath control. Other than that, I love your song selection. I think you've got a lot of talent and I think you're going to go places. I really do. Thank you. say about this old time mountain music is it's better than it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
that anyways. difficult instruments to play. Uh, a lot of people may not agree with me, but I think that you've got uh, I mean, your technique is great. Um, your sound. Again, are you familiar with an artist by the name of Noel Corner? Anyway, he's a, a jazz violinist. And I think that you, um, I like the song that you chose, the genre of the song, but I wish you would have uh, it could have had a little more eye contact with the audience. You know, that's my only criticism, but other than that, it was really good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, give it up again. All right, we're going to switch now from the fiddle to the viola. Um, our next artist is Bertie Didieri. Didieri, excuse me. Um, a little bit about her background. Her mother works for the Forsyth County Department of Social Services. Her first performance was in fifth grade for a talent show, and her hobbies are marching band, reading, and listening to music. She's going to be performing on the viola. It is well with my soul. <laughs> Let's give it up a little bit. Um, 
Marianne. <laughs> you're an you're an enjoyer. <laughs> First of all, I'm not very familiar with that instrument. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. However, I found I don't know, something about it was mesmerizing. Two or your talent and your combination of the instrument, but I thoroughly enjoy it. Thank you so much. Anyone else on the panel? Ronald. It's, it's kind of weird now. Um, it seems like the same instrument for two different sides. Is it different? Is it different? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I speak poem, so I don't know. So, you know, but this is the viola. It's technically counted as the tenor voicing of the ensemble or the orchestra. Okay. So, the background is the violin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
brings you kind And I hope you have all you dreamed of And I wish you joy and happiness But above all this, I wish you love Especially at the end when you started the improvisations, you said, oh, forget this, this is my song, and I'm going to sing it. Um, I think your breath control is fantastic. Uh, and also, uh, the transitioning from your head voice to your chest voice, very smooth, extremely smooth. And I think that's a great song for you as well.
Somebody make some noise out there. Can you hear me? Ernie, can you hear me? Somebody say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can I get your hands in the air? Can I get all my finger snappers? Finger snappers, finger snappers. Yes, yes, yes.
saucy. Come on. <laughs> you know, but I thought I'd better just enjoy the music. Great job. And the musicianship of you guys is awesome. You guys actually played. I really appreciate that. You know, I, I too, like Alvin, I was about to get up and do a little two step. I had a little two step in there. That was great. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Let's give it up for the band Cruises. And I know our judges are going to have some decisions to make, some hard decisions, I think. Uh, we'll be very impressed with what we've seen today. So the judges are going to deliberate here for a few minutes, and we're going to hear from Brian Gallimore, who's going to play a little a musical interlude for us while they deliberate. Unfortunately, you won't be hearing the cool stylings of Chase Law and Dudley Watts this year, maybe next year, uh, but we will hear from Brian Gallimore, and he will give you a treat. Thanks so much, and judges, good luck. Check, check, thank you. Hey, this one's from down the street. <laughs>
Melissa Cliver. So just hang out here. Um, congratulations, you're incredible. Second place goes to Sanai Henderson.